Hello everyone. Today's my uh -oh. granny cooking show. <laughs> Y'all, granny's going to show us how to make her famous dressing. Y'all know I don't know how to make the dressing, so I'll be able to make it on my own next year. But granny, what you got, granny? Celery and onion. Chopping my celery and onion. Okay. She got her celery here, and she's chopping up her onion now. She got her bread right here. Cornbread. I've already cooked the pan of cornbread. Okay. I'm going to try to make it next year on my own. See how it turn out? <laughs> so she finna chop the onion. Zapped it in the microwave? Yeah, this is gonna be zapped in the microwave in a minute. Okay. It needs to be already done and cool anyway. Your bread. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they cool. You can always make that before you. I don't make too much dressing. I Toast you about three pieces of bread. Okay. Toast three pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, even biscuits. You got them. Even one you want to use.
for me. I just shake it in. I do a teaspoon. Just try it with a teaspoon. Okay. So one tablespoon of poultry. Poultry seed. Okay. Make a lot of this. One tablespoon. I'm try to start with that here. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Start there with the sage. Okay. One tablespoon mm -hmm. of sage. Yeah. Okay. black pepper to your taste. Now, I don't know how you like it. Okay. But you gotta put a little pepper in. Okay. Start with a half a teaspoon. Okay. And then you can put, always put more. Half a teaspoon of salt because it's got stuff already salted. So if you need more salt, you can put that in. It's already got salt in. Okay. I don't, I don't use jiffy bread in that can when I make this. You use the regular cornmeal? Yeah, okay. self-rising cornmeal. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to have to taste it. This means I don't be hungry when I get through eating. <laughs> Give me two spoon then. Let's see, do you need a little more salt or a little more? Sage or a little more what? Salt. Mm. Well, put it to your liking, Brown. No, how you like it, Daddy? But I like your dressing anyway. Mm. <laughs> I like how you make your regular dressing. Oh. So you can put it to your taste buds, because I like how you make your regular dressing anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Now, you need a lot of help, man. <laughs> I just want some of granny dressing. <laughs> you sure got a big mold, I tell you <laughs> that. Time. Yes, a little time. Yes, a little bit. Just a pinch of it. She ain't got no one that's still all right. Here we go, baby. It's a big pinch You know this is right. Stuffing. Mm -hmm. okay. But I don't put but little bit of that. When I put this whole bag in there, it's going to rise to the top. Ah, okay. It's going to be a whole lot. That's got a good taste, ain't it? Mm-hmm. So you put just a little, mm -hmm. a little chicken stuffing mm -hmm. mix. Yeah. Just about half a bag of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Half a bag of this stuffing, stuffing mix. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put your eggs in there. Okay. And it's four eggs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna beat them up. That's pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. My auntie used to make dressing. When we wanted to eat before she put that in the stove. It'd be <laughs> so good. You want to eat it like that? Mm -hmm. mm. It'd be so good. She let all of us get a spoonful. <laughs> and we go, auntie, let's get a bowl of food before you put that in the stove. You ain't gonna mess up eat a ball of my so and so dressing. <laughs> Raw. You want some more celery soup in? No, I don't think. That tastes pretty good. Now, mm. you, what else you want in there? That's it. You taste pretty oh, good. All right. Raw. Yep, yeah, it tastes pretty good. Got a nice tea seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. The only thing really got to get done in there is these eggs. You kind of sick, so you don't want it to get, if it get dry, you can always open that up. Okay, just put, put your little water in it and a little sage in this here in a pot. Mm -hmm. If you need some more juice to pour on it, okay. that's what I've been doing. Half a stick of butter? Yeah, not quite. That's what you need and you ain't got no uh Okay. Fat. Now you're fat in your can. Mm-hmm. 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 
again. Well, it's got room to rise if you want to rise. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Alright, y'all. So, that is it. And that's my dressing that batter. Dressing. So, I'll be popping this in the oven Wednesday morning. <laughs> Said 350? Yeah. 350 degrees. Just keep testing, see how it goes. How dry you want it? I'll be in there about 45 minutes or something like that. Okay. So just check it yourself. Always check your own stuff. Don't just go by daytime time. Yeah. Okay. You got to do it on that can. All right, y'all. That's it. That's it. Dress it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you for the salmon. <laughs> salmon don't last long with this house. I hope you enjoy it. Yes, ma'am. We will. Yeah. All right, y'all. That's it. I'll see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. So, today I will be making my sweet potato pies for y'all. And this is how I make them. So, <laughs> I know a lot of people make their pies differently. But this is just how I make my sweet potato pies. So I'm just gonna let you guys know what I will be using. But first off, I have two potatoes here. And I'm just gonna rinse them off real good. I'm not gonna boil my potatoes this time. Normally I'll boil my potatoes, but I'm not gonna boil them. I'm just gonna put them on this pan right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna spray the pan just for a minute so the potatoes won't stick on the aluminum foil. So I have some canola oil here and I'm just going to spray a little bit on this pan. I'm going to place my potatoes back on the pan. I'm going to preheat my oven to 360. So, I can see. so now I'm just going to take a knife y'all and I'm just going to poke holes in my uh, potatoes. Now y'all, I'm gonna place these in the oven. I'm gonna let those cook until those get tender. And I will be right back. All right y'all, so while those potatoes are roasting, I'm just gonna let y'all know what I'll be putting in my potato filling. I got some evaporated milk, some sweetened condensed milk. Um, I have some nutmeg here, some allspice some ginger, cinnamon, I got some sugar, some eggs, light brown sugar, and vanilla flavor. Also two sticks of butter. And this is my traditional pie crust. So I'll be right back y'all. All right, y'all, so I took out the potatoes. I'm just going to open the potatoes up. All right, you guys, so now this is my potato right here. All right, y'all, so I got my stick of butter here. I'm gonna add my butter. And 
and I didn't have to put two sticks of butter in here I just put one because this is not a whole lot of batter I'm just doing two pies I also have my sweetened condensed milk so I'm gonna add a can of this I got my cinnamon here I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon in here because I really don't measure cinnamon so that's probably about a tablespoon I got one cup of sugar here I'm not gonna add all of it I'm just put half because I don't want my sweet potato pie too sweet I got some allspice right here I'm gonna do one teaspoon of allspice I'm gonna do one teaspoon of nutmeg. And I also got some ground ginger, which I'm gonna do one teaspoon of ginger also. And my, uh, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of vanilla flavor. And I have my evaporated milk here. And I'm gonna probably do about like a half a cup of that also, not too much. And I got my light brown sugar. Right here, I'm gonna sprinkle, and I'm probably gonna do probably like about a half of brown sugar. But you guys can measure this if y'all want to. I just know how much I want in here. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be probably about a half. Not too much. I got some white sugar in there. Okay, all right, y'all. Now I'm gonna stir all this up together. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to taste it to see if it's sweet enough for me. Okay, it's perfect. I don't need to add anything else but my eggs. So the only reason why I put all of my ingredients in first is because I knew I wanted to taste it to see if it was sweet enough before I added my eggs. And this is perfect. Now I'm gonna add my eggs. All right, y'all, so I got two eggs here and I'm just gonna lightly beat them. Now I'm gonna add my eggs. And I'm gonna stir this real good. All right, y'all, so now I got my two pie crusts here. And I'm just gonna pour some batter. I'm just gonna pour some batter in both of these shells here, y'all. And I'm trying to level them out and I'm just making a mess here. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here on this pan and put a little more. All right, y'all, so now I've preheated my oven to 350. And now I'm about to just pop these babies in the oven.
pies. They are done and ready to be eaten. So, if you guys would like to do this recipe, feel free to do this recipe and let me know what y'all sweet potato pies taste like on Thanksgiving. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all later on the next video. I hope y'all enjoyed these recipes with me and Granny.